So you're looking at that and it's definitely not a Bluetooth speaker, but it does have kind of a speaker quality to it. It's got this blinking green light in the front that the green screen looks blue, but I mean, you're looking at it and you, you have to be asking yourself, what the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The new Gadget Game Show. And that's what this game show is all about. And I'm your host, Steve Greenberg. You might recognize me from NBC's Today Show or for some other TV appearances I do around the country. And in this game, we have a mystery gadget and we have a panel of experts trying to guess the identity of that mystery gadget. And let's meet our panel right now. Hello, panel. And our first panelist we're gonna to talk to is Miss Candy Sample. Howdy. Hi, Candy. Howdy. <laughs> So uh, Candy is known for her songs about green bean casserole, cornbread, and a cast iron skillet. But her last lab report she tells her that she has to work on a new tune called The Joy of Statins. Is this true, Candy? <laughs> What's going on? This, I ate my way through the pandemic, and now I'm paying the price. Oh, my gosh. Well, join the statin club, you know. <laughs> It, it, it's it's fun. It's fun to be on a statin. Okay, well, we welcome and welcome you to the game show. Thanks so much. Next, we have Mr. Oliver Tull. Hello, hello. Now, Oliver tells that he's tired of his he's tired of begging and asking for a PlayStation Five, so he's going to put a PlayStation Four in a motel room with a PlayStation One and hope for the best. Sounds like Oliver is a Sounds like you're a PlayStation pimp. I don't like this, what you're doing there, but I, I'm just getting here. Anyway, welcome to the show. He is our tech expert here. Thank you, Oliver. Well, thank Appreciate you. it. And that, thank you for the new screen name. I'll be the PlayStation pimp from now on. I like it. I like it. I see t-shirts. I see a whole line of stuff that comes out of that. PlayStation pimp. Yeah. Okay. Next, we go to Miss Lois Whitman Hess. She's a podcaster. She's a blogger. She runs HWHPR. And she candidly admitted during the during the break that she's not wearing anything below the belt. <laughs> I, I'm in shock. Lois, you, you're always you're always pushing the envelope. If you, want, if you want this show to get a big hit, I should stand up. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll all be asking ourselves, what the heck is that? <laughs> okay, moving on to Mr. Harry Redlick. In high school, Harry was voted the most likely to be a game show panelist. So you see, dreams do come true, Harry. <laughs> Welcome, Harry Redlick. Oh, I love yeah, this story. Great. Yeah. Well, it's great having you here, Harry. Thank you. And remember, you know, he's still looking for a date where we have to keep promoting that. Yeah, keep swiping, swipe, yeah, get, get, find Harry and, and ask him out. Okay, so let's talk about the game. We've got our gadget on the puppet stage right there. There's really no reason for me to get up and show it to you, except that that's it. It looks like it's blinking uh, blue, but that's actually you're seeing through the green screen. So it's really blinking green. And when that appears, the background shows up, but that is green, it blinks constantly. I actually really can't even turn it off. And <laughs> now you have to tell me, what the heck is that? And we're gonna start off with Miss candy samples ah okay ah, so what do you think <laughs> okay so you said you said you can't turn it off so but what's that little button under the ah. under the flashing okay it, you can turn it off if you really push that button but generally just so you know it's supposed to be on okay you, you leave it on all the time leave the yeah room you'll leave, you leave it on golden um does this go in my bathroom it does not go in your bathroom, but that was a great guess. You've eliminated that entire room from the house. Let's move on to Mr. Oliver Tull. I'm, I'm Oliver. sorry, I'm a little distracted because when you said you couldn't turn it on, I thought, is it my ex-girlfriend? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. You never dated that, I don't think. <laughs> and if you did, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> Are the vents on the top, do they pull air into them? Um, the vents on the top, that's a great question. It, they don't pull air in. They okay. push, I'll give you the hint though, it does push air out. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're, you're, you're close. That leads and I me guess, right back I guess where I was. I'm gonna go back to the puppet stage for one reason. Hold on, let's go to the puppet stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I guess I didn't realize that there is something to show over here. 
just the back of it. Mm -hmm. It's not lit great, but that's what we got there. Okay, so yes, and it does kind of push air out the top of it. Moving okay. on to Miss Lois Whitman Hess. Okay. Does the top come off of it? No, it is self-contained right there. You don't do a thing to it, but that's a great question. It is, is as it is, if that makes any sense at all. I don't think it does. Harry Redlake, help me out here. <laughs> okay. What the heck is that? Hmm. What do you think? What's your question? Um, can this product uh, teach me how to dance on TikTok? <laughs> no, if it did, I, I wouldn't even be showing it. I'd be on TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> See, that, I don't deserve to, to, to be on it because I couldn't say it. But yeah, no, I, I, I would love to get followers on that. So yeah, no, <laughs> that's one of the plans in the future of this game show. Is to okay. Put it on TikTok, not TikTok. <laughs> we can get on the TikTok, y'all. The TikTok, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get on the Tic Tac. That's um, right. That's right. right. Uh, is it used in the kitchen? It is, yes. It is used in the kitchen. I'm sorry, is it used exclusively in the kitchen? I would say yes. It's used exclusively in the kitchen. Okay, so we learned a lot just then. We go back up to Miss Candy Samples, who's very familiar with the kitchen, I who is a kitchen pro. Yes. I, okay, this is your I, wheelhouse. Oh, Candy. okay. What's your well, question? Does it um, eliminate uh, foul odors? Say, like when you when you cook and fish and stuff, bowl and shrimp, and you know the, all the neighbors know. I would say you're very, very, very close, but it isn't. It wouldn't be sitting on the counter doing what you're saying it's doing. Um, but it is, you're very close. So you've given an excellent, excellent piece of information to the to this audience. So so the clues, we say kitchen, but mm -hmm. not on the counter. Right, okay. Let's go to Mr. Oliver Toe. Oliver, you've been given a lot of great is information. It, is it an olfactory correction device? <laughs> what I mean by that is when you cook something and you do poorly at it, it puts out the appropriate smell. So like when you mess up the recipe, oh my. It puts I love out the that smell product. That be there. I love that product. Then we could use one in the bathroom too, by the way, because I think that would work there too. But no, it, it doesn't put out a, a, a corrective smell, but that's a great idea. Um, what, what's, what's your other question? Um, I guess I do have a question. Uh, is it battery operated? So it plugs into a US, it has a little mini USB behind it. You plug it into the wall and it's charged. Okay. 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 So now we go to Lois Whitman Hess. Lois, now this is, a, I said a kitchen. So that's that room in the house that has those appliances <laughs> and things like that. So I, mean, I know you're not familiar with the kitchen area. I go into the kitchen to throw something out garbage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm thinking that this unit has something to do with the garbage and the smell of the garbage. Excellent idea. Hmm. You're warm, uh, but it's not correct. It's not the garbage, but we, but we definitely are in the kitchen and now I need to, we guess we have to find the location. And to do that, we're going to go to Mr. Harry Redlick. Harry, can you nail this? Well, do you put it in the refrigerator? Bing, 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 bing. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. A, a big round of applause. Here. That's great, Harry. Does that, does that mean I got it? You got it. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, of course, we have a video on it, but first let me tell you, it's called the Pure Air Fridge, uh, available through Hammerker and Schlemmer. It's $59.95. It lasts 24 days. Then you have to recharge it again. And let's take a look at the video so you can see them explain it. Would you like to know how the food in your refrigerator can last longer and your whole refrigerator smell better? Let me show you. Pure Air Fridge is a small, rechargeable appliance that sets in your refrigerator and eats up ethylene gas before the ethylene gas can over-ripen refrigerated fruits and vegetables, keeping your food tasting better for longer, which saves you money. Pure Air Fridge also eliminates odors in a way that a box of baking soda can only dream about. Oh. 
so what's cool about it, it not only reduces smells, but it actually uh, increases the life expectancy of foods that you use there. So your vegetables last longer, et cetera, because it's taking ethylene out of the air in there and it makes it, you know, it makes things last longer, kind of sanitizes the air. So this is way better than a box of um, baking soda. This is like, you know, baking soda on steroids. So really a cool idea. This Again, hammer awesome. schlemmer. Yes. 21st century, y'all. This Very is very cool. cool. It, this is this is a 21st century baking this soda. Buck Rogers used this. Absolutely. <laughs> that this is the future of your refrigerator right there. Very cool. And like I said, 5995hammerker.com. What's it called again? It's called the Pure Air Fridge. That's what it's its official name. And you'll just have to kind of look on refrigerator or something in under the hammerker website. So once again, you guys were amazing. I want to tell our viewers again, if you haven't subscribed, what's wrong with you? Please subscribe. Please click on that, hit that little bell so you get notified when new episodes are loaded in there. Also check us out on the DB and A television network. We'd appreciate that too. And of course, um, we will be back again soon with some more episodes. When you see the product, you'll be asking yourself, what the heck is that? And we'll find out the answer to that during that episode. So everybody take care, stay safe, we'll see you next time. Bye.